All right, what's up guys? Uh, as you can see, uh, I am using a new camera. You'll probably tell in a little bit. But anyways, I'm making uh, my first video on... Let's study this thing here. Making my first video about uh, my gun collection. This is obviously not... This is a uh, still picture. I mean, this is of... A bunch of other people's videos they have on YouTube about their zombie apocalypse weapons, their their guns for when shit's the fan, stuff like that. And um, I don't. My video is not going to be about my entire gun collection and ammo stash. Uh, mine's going to be about the two guns that I want to have. I want to have on me at all times. I mean, yes, if I'm uh, hold, like holding down a fort like my house or something in my property it is uh, much easier to just grab a gun go shoot it and then you can toss away grab another one but my um, go-to guns these are ones that if I could if I, if I could choose to have them I'd have these on me at, uh, at all times and uh, these would be the two that I would grab first if I could only choose a few guns and had time to only choose a few guns but uh I mean as you can see this is my SKS this is a uh, I think it was a Yugo but on the on the gun it says uh, Zestava slash Serbia and uh, I mean this is this is like only a $300 gun I know some other Yugos are around, they're closer to 400, like they, uh, here is the, the stock that came with this gun, and so this is, this is definitely one of the cheaper Yugos, I mean the other ones, like a, a good Russian or a, a good Chinese one, they have an, an actually finished stock, I mean this one has numbers just slapped on there, there's pencil uh, written over it. I mean, this ain't, yeah, it's a little bit, it's just a plain wood stock. There is no really, uh, any varnish, any stain. It just was a piece of wood that was cut out and slapped on a frame and then shipped away and caused lean to be stored forever. So, uh, and I think, yeah, there, there's two different versions of Yugo guns. But, uh, this is mine. I mean, uh, main reasons is it shoots a great bullet the 7.62 by 39 it is very versatile you can hunt uh basically any animal in the u.s uh, not i'm not gonna consider bears or some big elk but I mean, you can take down a good sized hog or boar and uh a good sized deer with this rifle and uh you have better chance of it getting taken down pretty quick um, plenty of reasons is they are very reliable they are yes they're an, an older design but that makes them more simple I mean it, this thing to me is easier to, to take apart and clean than an AR uh, a, a lot of stuff in the, in, in the AR is kinda enclosed this one's pretty easy all you do is take off the uh, scope mount and basically the whole bolt carrier just comes off. You can re reach everything in the gun by taking something some, something off. It takes about a uh, whole like ten seconds, if that. So uh, that's much faster to take apart, at least for me. But um, uh, more stuff. I mean, it comes with. It only has a, a ten round uh, capacity. Yes, ARs. A lot of other ones can have twenty to thirty. Well, round capacities but they are also using magazines this one has an internal magazine like box magazine type uh, storage so um, obviously you're not going to be able to hold a lot of ammunition but uh, that means you get to use these stripper clips which are more reliable uh, you can store them anywhere they're a lot cheaper they're basically indestructible and I mean, mag uh, actual magazine like that of a pistol or another rifle, they're not as reliable. They don't, um, they can get dirty, the screen might get stuck inside, they wear out, they take up a lot more space, empty or full of ammo. So, uh, I mean, it'd be, 
it's really easy to stack a whole bunch of these clips together one by one and uh, you could put hundreds of those in an ammo box but you might be able to fit maybe several uh, normal size AR magazines in the box so they definitely take up a lot less room the cost is a lot cheaper and um, there's not really any maintenance on them all you really do is wipe them down once in a while and that's about it but uh, so another reason is ammo is plentiful in the US but it's even more plentiful outside of the US and uh, it's very cheap. Uh, there's ton there's several companies that make steel case ammo that can be um, had for around 21 cents or somewhere around there uh, online for that's per bullet. I mean normally uh, they they could be from three and a half to six bucks online. I mean I I was at a gun show and. They had like silver bear, brown bear, that stuff was at like six or seven dollars for twenty rounds and I don't know, so I don't know if, if if prices are going up, but I know the ammo I find I can get for anywhere from, from four to five dollars all day long for twenty rounds. I mean I have uh plenty I have a whole uh, case of this Russian surplus stuff. I have twelve hundred and sixty rounds, so that is quite a bit. And I think they only came to like 21 or 22 cents a round. And that was, uh, I think, including shipping. If it, if it didn't include shipping, it'd be like 20 bucks. I mean, uh, 20 cents a round. Or even cheaper. But uh, even the uh, this Herder stuff, which I, now this is the 154 grain. I haven't tried this out much. But the uh, the FMJ stuff, the 122, uh, that stuff I, I tested in my SKS in the last video. And it, it performed really well. It made my my gun was able to shoot the stuff and be uh, pretty much like a attack driver. So um, yeah, the ammo is cheap. The stripper clips are cheap. Um, a lot of this ammo is easy to store for a long time because like the uh, some ammunition has the corrosive primers and then they also have the little. Uh, hold on. One out. They have little. Uh, uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's similar to, to paint, where it uh, kind of covers the primer, and also some of the other ammunition has stuff that kind of seals the bullet and the casing. So uh, you got that going on for you. And uh, mainly, I mean, the gun's heavier, so yes, it's. Uh, not going to be as light as a typical AR. It's longer than in a, a typical AR. I mean, ARs were first designed with 20-inch barrels. Now they're 16-inch barrels. You can get that. You can get them down to pistol size with maybe 11 or 12-inch barrels. I forget what company makes them. Or they make seven and a half-inch uh, AR pistols. But um, so, anyways, yeah, they they can get pretty light if you get an AR. But this one, it's heavier. I feel it was made to last longer. It's a simple design. It is an older design, so there are some uh, goods and bads about it. But I mean, yeah, just overall easier to clean. I'm most comfortable with it. So uh, yeah, that's enough time about the SKS. I'm sure everyone's heard the same thing. Everyone chooses an SKS. But here's my uh, second gun. I'll have as much to say about it, but I don't need to because. It's a 1911. Everyone knows they are really, really awesome guns. So I move the uh, the ammo out of there because I mean, most of you know that doesn't go in this gun. That this is a 45. But uh, I mean, uh, main reason why I choose this gun. Uh, again, I'm most f uh, familiar with it. I'm comfortable shooting it. I've shot uh, a few thousand rounds through it. Nothing's even been touched on the gun besides uh, normal cleaning and then these uh, different grips. Otherwise, I haven't touched a gun once. Haven't really had anything fail yet, so that, that's pretty good. Uh, see, another thing, I mean, yeah, the, it only holds eight rounds of 45 caliber. Some other guns will hold more than that, or if you get a 9mm, I mean, that's plenty enough to take out a person. 
Uh, those can hold 15 to 30 round magazines. I mean, you can get extended mags to go up to 30. But I'm, um, I just like this gun because it's, I mean, it is heavier like the SKS. Uh, you can go buy a bunch of guns today Glock, Smith & Wesson, Ruger. They all make guns that are kind of like new, a little bit newer in design. Uh, they usually have like a polymer frame and then some have like a cast slide on there so yeah they are much lighter I mean this gun empty is still heavier than my dad's Ruger that's full of ammo and with a uh, attack rail on there with a you can have a red dot on there you can have anything on that gun and it'll still be lighter than this gun uh, empty but uh, I'm not a big fan of having plastic guns. Uh, I mean, I feel like this thing I could throw it at someone if somehow it didn't work and it would be fine. Uh, I'm not sure how. I mean, that's what people used to do, right? They used to pistol whip others. I don't think that plastic's going to hold up after a few thousand pistol whips, but I'm <laughs> not saying we're going to be pistol whipping everybody because. Uh, the gun broke that. This, this gun's very reliable, so uh, you're not gonna ha have to pistol up someone unless you just feel like it for fun, or if you don't want to waste ammo. In case you're going into zombies, you want to be loud, you'd crack them over the neck or the head of that thing. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, the heaviness is uh, it comes out over top for that kind of stuff. But uh, I mean, oh, main reason it's. It is a bigger caliber, so it can take down stuff easier. It can go through stuff easier. I mean, it is a pistol. They have really crappy penetration. Uh, I'm not sure I have a video out yet, but I think I have, like, I'm trying to think of what uh, thickness of steel I had, but I took out my 17 HMR, and then this pistol and the 17 HMR had more penetration through the steel than what this uh, handgun did. And this is a 45 ACP round. So it goes to show handguns, they do have a lot of hitting power, but they don't have uh, squat for, for penetration on materials. Now, if, if you guys want to fight that claim, I have I, I, I can provide picture proof that a little 17 can penetrate further than a 45, which is kind of, kind of sad. I mean, yeah, the 17 is a lot smaller and it carries a goes a lot faster. But this the bullet carries this one carries a lot more energy. But uh, so yeah, this one it does more damage to a person, but against uh, steel and stuff, it doesn't do anything compared to a varmint rifle. So, uh, oh yeah, I'm kind of done talking about these two guns. I mean, I just uh, feel the most comfortable about these two with my and my abilities with them. So, uh, well, that's a that, that's it it for the uh, video. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's uh, not much else to say. Why I choose these guns is pretty uh, easy to uh, tell. I mean, everyone else. You know, a lot of guys who own the SKS say the same thing. They would choose it for their uh, go-to gun. 1911, not as many people would say it. They go with a gun that has a higher capacity. But uh, that's my two guns that I choose. I mean, I do have others that I would grab. Got a couple little... Hold on, let me turn some... Some lights down up in here. Sure, yeah. I got my little rifles, my uh, 17 and 22 there, and then hiding over here is my shotgun, and then oh, I don't know, that's a, this is both my moles and guns hiding in there. So turn off the lights. So I mean, yeah, it's pretty easy. There's my bed. There's my safe. Eh, it's not really safe. It's a cabinet, but so yeah, it's easy to grab anything I want. I'm and arms reach away so uh, anyways uh, take care guys I'm
Could be making more videos. I'm gonna chill back down in here. Probably uh, look at some more stuff up on here. Look at all these guys, like this guy's zombie. His guns and stuff, so uh, yeah, I wanna watch them out. Nope. Advertisements. Well, which are good, you know, they help pay for uh, people's stuff. Like me, I make like two bucks a month from all you guys clicking on my video, so you can click more on them if you would like. Cause then I can uh, maybe buy more ammo, or uh, I'm wanting to get really nice software for video editing. As you can see, I don't really edit videos often because like it's my current program is a pain. So uh, if you guys click on my ad, my ads more. And then maybe I'll go spring for a really nice video editing software and uh, bring you nicer vids. And uh, if you have YouTube videos, feel free to tell me that, that you clicked on my ads and I will return a favor and click on your ads so we can both get some uh, pennies from Google. So uh, anyways, I'm uh, signing off guys. So uh, leave your comments, opinions, don't worry. I uh, I will I will listen to anybody's opinions on stuff. If you want to see something more or ask more about the guns, then uh, feel free. So uh, I guess I'll catch you guys later and stay tuned for the next video. They're coming out uh, every week, so uh, stay tuned.